All right, hello guys. In this video, we're gonna be talking about who could expect to possibly see their first snowfall during the month of October. I did one for the overall seasons or, or the you know snow season, but I'm gonna be talking more in depth about just the month of October in this video. But before I get started with this video though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather related content and also make sure to check out the links in the description for our social medias. Now, we're gonna get right into things. We're looking at my October forecast that just came out. I think I made it two days ago. And we're going to be looking at the precipitation forecast and the temperature forecast because clearly those two things are very important when it comes to snowfall. So we're looking at the precipitation forecast first off. And notice there's no areas of below average precipitation at least forecasted. Some things do have a little bit of, you know, differences than what I call for, obviously, in a monthly forecast. And we I know we will see some areas have below average precipitation, but it just wasn't likely for any one place to have low average precipitation so it's impossible to say where it's going to be but more more likely than not it will be somewhere in the area that i'm calling for not to have above average precipitation uh but, and really the areas that we want to watch are the areas in the northern third of the united states obviously minnesota is at risk of october snowfall usually usually uh north dakota montana south dakota sometimes i've seen nebraska even kansas before uh colorado and then also the Great Lakes states and then interior New England. And I mean, we've even had, I think we had a big snowstorm along the East Coast that affected the Mid-Atlantic and Northeastern United States. Maybe it was 2011 or something. So, I mean, it is possible for those areas to get snowfall as well. Looking at our temperature forecast, though, uh, it, it is important to note that we do have below average temperatures forecasted for that northern third of the United States. And that's really crucial because... That's going to increase our chances for all of those blue areas. All of those blue areas do see, sometimes do see, snowfall during the month of October, with the exception of maybe the west coast there right up against the coast. But besides that, all of these blue regions do actually have chances at October snowfall from time to time. And some of these areas likely actually do see October snowfall, usually including the Rocky Mountains there and then the interior New England areas. Uh, so all of these areas are going to have an even greater chance at October snowfall than they would even normally have, especially that darker blue region there for the Rockies, Montana, North Dakota, and Wyoming alike. Now, we're also going to take a look at the GFS snowfall through the entire run, and why this is important is because this is going to get us out to about October 16th on expected snowfall during this model run. Notice it's a lot of the areas... Uh, that have already seen snowfall during the month of September, like the Rockies there. Uh, but I wanted to note that we do see a lot of Washington State, the mountains there get snowfall, as well as Oregon and California. I know some of these areas have seen a bit of snowfall, but we're looking to see a lot more during the next uh, 16 days or so. And then also notice a little bit of northern Nebraska there getting in the flurries, I guess, with that very, very dark blue. That's, you know, minimal snowfall accumulation, but still... Uh, notable to note that and then as well in between of uh, the two Dakotas there we do see some snowfall and then especially Maine and New Hampshire looking to possibly get snowfall during the next 16 days very very interesting stuff there guys uh, that's really interesting because actually the models are showing that within the next 100 hours so they've been showing it consistently this might really happen guys that interior Maine area might actually see you know, snowfall accumulations and even maybe the White Mountains of New Hampshire as well would maybe be included in that. So very, very interesting there. Uh, and, and it is, is a bit earlier than normally expected for those regions. Normally those regions would start to see it in maybe later October. So to see it in the beginning of October is very, very interesting. And here's that uh, precipitation type map here where you can see it in New England. That It's actually a Miller B type nor'easter. And if you check out my storm tracks for this winter video, it would show you guys, you would learn a lot about that. I made a video on storm tracks that I'm expecting this winter. Uh, but we see this Miller B type system just inside, just offshore of Boston and the main coast uh, there. And that brings a lot of snowfall there to the interior regions of Maine. And we saw a lot of storms like this that last winter, actually. this I just thought of that. That reminds me a lot of last winter and a lot of the storms that we saw. If you guys remember, interior Maine got absolutely blasted with snowfall last winter. Just tons and tons and tons of snow, uh, whereas the coast just couldn't get as much. Really, some occasionally they would, but just it was not coming to the coast or, you know, anywhere really south of the interior regions of New York and New England. So it was very interesting to see that we're seeing more of that this fall, 
possibly, or at least the models are showing the potential for that. So it's going to be interesting to see if that trend continues or if this is just, you know, it's just by chance that we're seeing something very similar to last winter. Uh, I hope it's not similar to last winter. I'm sure a lot of you don't either. Now, here is my map for first snowfall on average in areas that see it on average before November. Uh, so this is actually taken and inspired directly from my map that I made for the entire season. Again, like I said, but this is just the October regions. So it's, a, it's obviously a little bit different here to just see it right here. Everywhere that's in these pink regions on average sees their snowfall before November. And I know every year it's different and it's, it's just a really, really rough average. So a lot of these regions have probably already seen snowfall. And I know that regions there in northern uh, Washington, northern Idaho, and those little regions in northern Montana that I don't have shown have seen snowfall so far. So I know that this does have, you know, just because it's your average doesn't mean that's even close to what's going to happen sometimes. Sometimes you go very, very far off your average. Now there's little dots of this pink everywhere. And again, if you're in the pink, you expect your first snowfall before November on average, not guaranteed. But we do have two little dots there for the mountains of California, one there in between Idaho and Nevada, one there for Oregon and one there for Washington. Uh, but mainly the Rockies are covered in this pink. And then also the eastern less mountainous regions of Wyoming and Montana as well. And you can notice that South Dakota and Nebraska do have a little bit of that too. Again, in years past, I've seen September and October snowstorms, you know, sometimes track down into Colorado, Kansas, Nebraska. This does happen. We do see early snowfalls for those regions occasionally, uh, but we haven't seen one quite yet, but we're going to have to wait and see if we do see one this October. We do have a region there in Minnesota, one there for in between Wisconsin and Michigan there, and then we have some dots there for the Adirondacks in um New York, we see some for the Green Mountains in Vermont, and then some for the White Mountains in Maine, and then the, again, those interior regions of uh, Maine, and again, we're possibly going to see that interior region of Maine and New Hampshire there see snow sooner rather than later, the models are at least trending towards that, again, it is a little bit far out and it is a little bit far fetched. So we're going to take it with a grain of salt. But as we get closer, obviously, if it is going to happen, I will make a you know snowfall forecast on that one, which is super exciting to think about. Now, for this later portion of this video, I did want to get into a photo feature segment here. Uh, we did just have our major, major snowstorm there for Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, and a lot of those regions out there west, a lot of those mountainous regions in all sorts of different states. We saw extreme amounts of snowfall. So I just wanted to go over all the viewer sent in photos that I've received from that snowstorm in this video. Just I'm going to do this throughout the winter. I think every single snowstorm go over all the photos from each snowstorm. I'm going to try to because I just think that's such a cool idea. You guys, If you guys don't think it's such a cool idea, you guys can let me know, but I think it's so cool. Again, if you do want to send in photos, you have to follow us on Instagram, which is in the link in the description, and then tag us in the photos. If you know how to post photos on Instagram, you just tag us in the photos and we will be sure to share them, especially if we like them a lot. There's going to be three weekly winners, one monthly winner, and then again during snowstorms and all sorts of crazy weather events, we will be showing a lot of them during those types of events. For instance, this one. So we showed these first two or three in our weekly forecast. These are from Browning, Montana, and this is an area that got absolutely demolished by this snowstorm. And you can tell by this first picture, they easily have two feet of snow right here. Uh, I think that's a table right there to the right of your screen. And this is like a, some sort of porch because I see the railing right there where you can see it's clearly, uh, you know, 18 to maybe 30 inches of snow right there, probably closer to maybe 25 inches of snow, I'd say maybe a bit more, but I mean, it is just covered in snow and those trees, those spruces just look absolutely beautiful with all that snow all over it. I would have loved to have been there. Uh, I'm not quite at the level where I'm ready to travel a lot, but that's something I seriously want to get into with the weather channel or the um, YouTube channel that I have here. I would love to travel and make videos for storms, like all sorts of, you know, I love the storm chase, but also snowstorms would be super, super fun. I was wishing I could have gone to this one when I was looking at some of these photos. Here's a second one, this snow drift up against uh, a truck here. And I mean, that's just an extreme snow drift. Like I said, in my weekly forecast, I think this is like five or six feet of snow drift. And you can see on top of that car, it's only, it only looks like about 18 inches of snow. Uh, obviously a lot of wind blew right there because it was, I mean, nearly blizzard conditions. So there was probably more that fell, but on top of a car, you didn't see as much of that accumulation. Now these next few are from Great Falls, 
Montana, and it doesn't look like they got quite as much as Browning. I think they're taken at different times during the snowstorm, but you can see this photo. Uh, they've cleared their driveway, it looks like, and I would say there's probably about 10 to 14 inches of snow on the ground in this picture. Uh, it definitely looks like a winter wonderland, obviously, but not quite as much as Browning got. Browning got slammed, like I said, but this is quite a bit of snow there in such a beautiful picture. And you can see here, I think this is from the top of the car. You can see they've cleared half of it there with that brush, and then you can see probably about, again, around somewhere around 12 inches of snow right there. Uh, here in Great Falls, Montana. And then here's one from the porch. Again, since it was so windy, a lot of those higher level areas like on that railing, you can see it only looks like about six inches of snow on there, but you can tell down there on the ground of the porch that there's probably, again, close to 10 to 12 inches of snow on that porch. Now, I love that you guys get to send in the photos now because it makes for such cool uh, pictures that I get to see and kind of go over with you guys, and I'm sure you guys just love to see your photos featured on here. So it's absolutely amazing. Again, follow the Instagram, tag us in photos, and we'll be sure to share it. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, guys.